What's up guys? In this video I will tell you how I try to flush my BIOS. Let's start from the beginning. Few months ago I came across a B450 MSI Tomahawk Max 2 motherboard for $60. I said to myself, damn, that's a good deal. I read a bit and it appeared to come with the native support for first, second and third gen Ryzen processors. I'm like, okay, I have options to choose from. So I took it. Next was the CPU. A 5600X came on sale for $315. The only available alternative at that point was a 3700X for $325. I read a bit and pretty much everywhere it was written that 5600X beats 3700X. Okay, the 5600X was the better option. But B450 did not come with BIOS that supported 500 series CPUs and it needed to be flashed. I read some comments and I saw that not one or two people actually bricked their motherboards trying to use the flash button. I decided to write to the shop where I bought the motherboard. Hey guys, can you flash my BIOS so I don't lose my warranty? They replied, we don't do BIOS flashing and if you do it, uh, you will lose your warranty. A bit annoying, but uh, okay, fair enough. I decided to take the CPU anyway and take my chances. So. Let's see if I could manage to make it work. Here I have to say that flushing the BIOS has the risk of damaging your motherboard and may cause void of warranty. Do your own research and remember that when you flush your BIOS, it is at your own risk. I placed the USB stick with the latest BIOS in the flush BIOS USB port of the motherboard and I pressed the scary flush button. After some terrifying seconds when nothing was happening, the flash LED started, well, flashing. I will put a link in the video description below with step-by-step -step instructions how exactly to do it, but what I did was downloading the latest BIOS for the specific motherboard from MSI website, extract and copy the BIOS file on the FAT32 formatted USB 2.0 drive, rename the file to msi.rom, Put it in the BIOS flash USB port of the motherboard and press the flash button while having the power on. After a little more than 5 minutes the flashing stopped and the PSU made a power cycle. After that nothing more happened for more than 10 minutes so I guessed it was done. Nothing else left but to assemble the rest of the computer and see if it worked. A magical touch of my trusty screwdriver at the right spot remembering to turn on the screen and nothing, no signs of life. Great. I knew that this might happen, but I really was hoping it wouldn't. After a few moments of frustration, I remembered to check the onboard diagnostic lights and I saw that actually it was pointing at the problem with the RAM. Hmm. I removed one of the sticks and boom, here comes the post screen. A happy F1 press and I had a working B450 with Ryzen 5600X. Oh man, I was so happy. And I still am. Turns out one of the RAM sticks was bad and after RMA, all works good with both sticks. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget that like button down there. See you in the next one.